Shall we begin? Let's begin now. Okay, everybody. So now that we've gone ahead and cut out our card using our silhouette, we can now start putting our pieces together. So now, as I said from part one of the video, my card front was going to measure five and a half by four and a quarter. So I've taken a piece of cardstock, and this is some of the Joanne Fabrics textured cardstock, and I've cut it 11 inches by, I'm sorry, eight and a half inches by five and a half inches. And then I've taken it and scored it in half to make it a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card. So that is going to be the card layer itself. So now my top layer is going to measure four inches by five and a quarter inches. And this cardstock is from this paper pack. This is a Prima paper pack and it's called the Madeline Collection. And I picked this up at Hobby Lobby when they had their papers 50% off. So what I want to do is and I meant to do this earlier, is I want to go ahead and ink my edges of my top layer. And I'm going to use the Tim Holtz Fire Brick um, ink to ink my edges. So I'm just going to go along here and ink my edges real quick. And then we can add this layer to our card. So I'm going to get some ink going all the way around. And I'm just using one of the little dobblers to ink my edges. Okay, so now that we've got that done, we can add this to our card. So I'm going to take my ATG gun and get that out. And we're going to get some tape all the way around our edges here. And then we'll get our tape in the middle. I use my X and then I'm going to open up my card and I'm going to lay this down this way. So, and I'm not adding any ribbon on this card, so we can just go ahead and put our layer down. So, go all the way around on my edges. And now we can start adding our images that we've cut from the silhouette. So, I have my little lamp post here, which looks like this. And what I did was, I took a piece of just clear plastic. And this was actually just some packaging from off of something that I opened. And I put that behind here. Now, you might not be able to see that. There it is. You know, there's a little glare. So, I just kind of wanted that to make look look like glass back behind there. So I'm just going to lay it down for right now. I'm not going to tape anything down because I want to get all of my images on my card. So now we're going to add our couple. And as you remember, we cut our couple using the silhouette. And I cut this out at 3 inches. So we're going to have that and put that right there. And then for my bench, I did cut my bench out. In the black cardstock, and this cardstock is just some recollection cardstock. And then I decided that I wanted the heart to pop up. So what I did was I went back and cut just another um, image of just one part of the bench. And I cut that using some cream color cardstock, and then I inked the edges of the heart using the distress ink by Tim Holtz, the fire brick. So, I have this where I want this to pop up. So, I'm going to slide this over just a little bit. And we're going to put our bench down. And I popped up the heart as well. And then the last thing we'll be adding is our happy anniversary. And I did cut that out in two different colors. And that's going to lay right here. So, basically, we have our card all put together. And laid out so now we can start taping everything down so the first thing that I want to put down is my bench and I did pop this up on some foam tape and I'm just gonna line my bench up and place my bench about right there 
popped up like so. So now we can add our couple and I'm not going to pop the couple up. I'm just going to take my Tombow and put my couple down. So once again I could have ran this through the Xyron but as usual my Xyron's on the other side of the room. And the Tombow was right next to me. So I'm going to use my tweezers for this because I want to get this lined up right next to my bench. So, and I kind of want her foot to be right by the bench. And then I want to make sure I straighten the couple out like so. And then we'll go ahead and once again we'll use the Tombow to add our lamp post. So I'm going to get some glue on here and don't put any glue on the clear plastic. It's not a good idea. That kind of smears it. So I'm going to press that down. And you can't see it in the camera but you can see that little glare there to make it look like glass. So now, the last thing we're going to add before we add, I think I'm going to add pearls to this one rather than bling. I want to add the happy anniversary. And I have taken the happy anniversary and I've popped it up with some foam tape. And so we'll add this to our card. And as you can see, this was a really simple card to put together using the Silhouette Cameo, or as I call mine, Erica. So there is my happy anniversary. So now the last thing I'm going to add to my card is I'm going to add my bling, and then I'm going to also go ahead and add my inside sentiment. So I'm going to do that, and I'm going to come back with the finished card. Okay, everybody, so I'm back with the finished card. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and added three pearls right below the happy anniversary. And then I've made one of the rolled flowers. And this is the medium size of the My Favorite Things rolled flower die. And then for my inside sentiment, I've taken a piece of cardstock. And this is just uh, some cream color cardstock. And actually I think this is from a manila file folder. And I've cut it at four inches by five and a quarter inches and I've taken one of my dollar stamps and stamped out life is better when it's shared and I stamped this out using the aged mahogany Tim Holtz ink and then I've colored in the flower using my Yasutomo watercolor paints and then I've taken and stamped out anniversary wishes and this is from the my creative time teeny tiny teeny tiny tags stamps and dies and then on for the outside I've gone ahead and inked my edges and this time I've inked it with the fire brick uh, Tim Holtz ink so that's it everybody this is our completed card using Erica thanks for watching everybody bye